La donna immobile sulla tosta e con il mio arriva Pippo. Hey! Oh, hey! What you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just trying to cut this door in half. With that? Yeah, why? Dude, it's 2024. We have better ways nowadays. Like what? Here, try this. Oh my god. What the? Whoa. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Yes, indeed, I squeezed this door in my minivan along with this monster of an air rifle and other targets, brought it out here to the beautiful Florida Everglades purely to have fun with you guys. Today, we are going to blitz some stuff starting with a door. So, first things first, this beast that you see right here is the Hatson Blitz. In its biggest size, this is the 30 caliber version. This rifle has two firing options, semi-auto or full auto. Yes, indeed, you heard it right, full auto. And I don't know how many other air guns there are out there that shoot in full auto, but if there are, there are a few and far between. Anyway, this 30 caliber Blitz was kindly provided by Airgun Tactical an awesome online store here in the United States that pretty much carries most of the guns that I review. It is 100% reliable with very competitive prices. Again, thank you so much Airgun Tactical for supporting the channel. For those of you who know the Blitz, well today you may see something new and different like this guy attempting to saw a door in half with a simple spray of pellets. For those of you who don't know this gun, well, my friends, you are in for a treat, and I'll talk more about it in a minute. In fact, this is the very first time I shoot this thing. I have yet to shoot a single shot from it. So before we attempt the challenge we're actually here for, let's test this thing first on some ballistic gel. And of course, the ammo was also kindly provided by Airgun Tactical. And throughout today's video, we'll be shooting these 30 caliber, 44.75 grain JB Diablo pellets, along with these 54 grain HNN slugs hollow point two. So I loaded one kind of each pellet in the two provided 16 shot mags. These things have an interesting loading system, which requires the use of this small tool conveniently placed on the side of the buttstock. And I'll be using the gun's sights throughout the whole video. All right, folks, so I wasn't even able to get a full magazine in um, as I was trying to figure out, obviously, how this full auto works. Uh, I think I got it down. So these were the hollow points. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time on this ballistic gel with the pellets. And look at that, it just rained pellets on this ballistic gel. Okay, so to give you a perspective on how much air we used, I just shot two uh, 16 shot magazines, so 32 shots. 
I had it right on the line uh, between the red and the green. And so we are, we still got a lot of air, put it that way. Very cool. And now my friends, down to the test, we're all here for. Will we be able to saw this light wood door in half with a single spray of bullets? Now, I will confess that I cheated a bit because since I challenged myself to cut the door in half in one single go, well, I went ahead and bought this $50 33 shot mag, which looks more like a deformed mechanical pizza of some sort, but that hopefully will do the job. <laughs> Loaded. Misery failed the first attempt. Second attempt, fail. Third attempt, we're almost there. Well, my friends, this is quite disappointing, but we ran out of ammo and we peppered the door, but we did not cut it in half just yet. I am a sore loser, so now we cut the door in half. Well guys, that was pretty disappointing. Definitely with a bigger caliber, we would have gotten the job done, but um, I'm glad we tried. Anyway, so as I said, we ran out of the JB pellets, but we still have the H&N slugs, so we can keep on going with some testing. Now, uh, there are plenty of videos out there with uh, chrono tests, long range shooting, accuracy tests, and all that. So what we're going to do today instead is try our tunnel of destruction, so called by me, to see what kind of power uh, this gun has and what kind of penetration uh, these pellets will uh, go through. Um, and the tunnel of destruction is made of five stainless steel trays. These things are very, very hard. As always, I'll put the description down below so you can see for yourself what kind of material they're made and all the information. Once again, they are stainless steel. All right, my friends, time to blitz the Tunnel of Destruction. All right, folks, I think we found my favorite gun. Look at this. Won't come out. As always, there we go. First stainless <laughs> stainless steel tray. Now the first one really got a, a big hit. 
Uh, the second one, as you can see, several pellets went by, but noticeably less, quite less than the first. But we did penetrate the second stainless steel tray into the third one. Again, a little less. And then the fourth only sustained some denting. And look at that pellet. So, almost four stainless steel trays in what, less than a second? Well, my friends, it is not an air gun alley video if we don't conclude our target shooting with a coconut and with some poison food. No, this is not waste of food, guys. This is, this has no nutritional value whatsoever. This is actually extremely unhealthy. I'm not gonna name the brand, but it is poison food. Nevertheless, it is going to be blitzed as well. So I'm gonna use one full magazine of 16 shots on the coconut, one full magazine of 16 shots on the poison food can, and then we can call it a day. Well, more than poison food, it's more like miracle food. I shot it twice and not hit, hit it, not even once. That is so weird, guys. That is so weird. Baffling. No, you know what? I am not going home defeated. We already messed up on the door. I am gonna hit this can. I only have seven slugs left. So I'm gonna go semi-auto and shoot these seven slugs because I wanna hit this can and see what it does to it. Semi-auto it is. Guys, check out one of these two videos next. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.